What's up guys, Chase Reiner here, and today we're gonna be talking about how to make over a million dollars per year with bots without being an expert. Now, a lot of people have been commenting lately that they think that I'm only making money just by selling courses, and I wanna show you how you can make money selling anything. Now, over the last few years, I've been making a ton of money, not just selling courses, but also selling services, software, affiliates, and let me just show you in the last year, or let's say year to date, on Stripe you can see uh, January I did $63,000 on Stripe, $68,000 in February, $64,000 in April. So you can see I'm pretty consistently making around thirty dollars to $60,000 a month on Stripe. Now you can also see on PayPal here, let me do the reports it's about the same. So I, I have both my payments coming from not just um, Stripe, but also through PayPal. So if you add them together, you'll see we're on track to make over a hundred thousand, uh, sorry, over a million dollars this year. Now, part of the year I was selling software. So I have a tool that I've been building called Shine Ranker, and we actually have now over 1100 signups, people paying subscriptions for the tool. I've also sold a ton of services. The reason I don't sell services as much anymore is because it's really hard to scale. And just because I can sell services, I could easily sell a ton of services, doesn't mean I necessarily want to. Okay, sorry, 10, uh, 1,081, so close to 1,100. So what I mainly focus on now is selling software, affiliates, and courses. You can also see some of my affiliates. This one, Jasper, this is just one of many. I actually have a ton of different affiliates. I have a whole spreadsheet of different affiliates. Um, I think I have like a hundred different tools that I'm affiliated with. This one's got over $5,000 in unpaid earnings. This one pays me like, I think it's like $3,000 a month. Okay. So if you add it all up, it's a lot of money. Now I know a lot of people are skeptical. They go chase, you know, I want to know exactly how you're making money so I can replicate it. Now the truth is it doesn't really matter what you sell as long as you can automate it. And that's why I'm so obsessed with bots. So if you can find a way to automate your traffic and automate your follow-up and convert people into a sale, does it really matter what you're selling as long as you're making money with it, right? So that's why I make these videos. I make these videos because I want to show you that if you want to sell services, you can do that. If you want to sell affiliates, you can do that. And I've made money doing all of these things. I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars doing all of them. Some of them I think are more scalable than others, but it's really up to you on what you want to sell. Uh, it also is up to you on what you want to build. You know, if you want to build software, there's downfalls. If you want to build courses, there's downfalls. If you want to build services, there's downfalls, right? There's um, overhead you have to think about. There's people you need to hire. There's all kinds of different things, okay? So I'm not going to get into all of that today, but I did want to address this because I know a lot of people are saying, well, Chase, you know, it's easy for you. And the truth is it's not easy for me. When I started out, I was living in a garage. I had no money. And I started by selling services because that was the best thing I knew. If I were to go back in time and uh, change some things, one of the first things I would have done was I would have probably started adding some affiliate stuff in there and ongoing things that I could charge for because affiliate, you don't really have to be responsible for the fulfillment. And so while I still would have done services, I probably would have done a lot less because you don't have to make as much money if you have different passive streams of income. And so that's really the goal here is we want to build different ways to have streams of income where if one of those streams dies, you still have other ways to make money, okay? Now, if you want the full course that I'm doing right now, you can go to aiprofitscourse.com before I go into the method, and you can join and learn how to automate your income with bots while you sleep. I have a full checklist that shows you step-by-step -step every single thing you need to do you know, to automate your traffic, to automate your sales, to automate your follow-up, to automate your social media. And if you want to do services, you can. If you want to do courses, you can. If you want to do affiliates, you can. It's up to you. But really, most of the money that I make is when I'm promoting something. So if I'm promoting a software, I make a bunch of money with software. If I'm promoting a course, I make a bunch of money with courses. If I make, if I promote services, I make a bunch of money with services. But it really comes down to the fulfillment, right? So I still have to fulfill whatever I'm promoting. And again, the whole goal is to be able to automate as much as possible the traffic that you're getting, the conversions, and then also the follow-up without losing a ton of money and time in the process, okay? So with that out of the way, let's talk about automating your traffic. Now, there's a ton of different ways you can automate your traffic. Number one, you can you know, do something manual. You could do something like TikTok. You could do um, you know, uh, 
YouTube, you could do blog posts, you could do whatever you wanted. And, and what I mean is by manual is you could do it yourself. You can obviously also hire people to do this stuff for you. But the one thing that you can't automate is your personality, right? So I can't automate doing these videos right now, the one that I'm doing right in front of you with somebody else because then it's not me. And so you really want to um, remember that if you're spending time uh, working on something that somebody else can do, then you're probably losing money unless you're just starting out. But if you have some money, you have some resources and somebody else can do it, for example, click on a button, you're, you're, you're wasting your time when you could be doing something like what, what I'm showing you here, which is showing up to a video or doing something that involves your personality, you know, an interview, um, anything that involves like you showing up somewhere. Okay. Now, what are some things that you can automate that you don't have to show up to? Well, you could automate your outreach, like sending contact form submissions with robots. You can automate your emails. You can automate your social media, right? And obviously anytime you automate things, there's going to be two things that happen. Number one, you're usually going to lose quality because it's not going to be you, which means you're not going to be overseeing it. And two, you're going to lose uh, your, shoot, I forgot the other thing. Well, you're going to lose quality. And the reason why losing quality can be good or bad is because some things, some things don't have to be super high quality. You don't have to, um, you don't really have to be, uh, let's say sending out messages manually through people's contact forms. Like if I went to, let's say plumbers near me and sent out a message just because I'm not showing up there and it's not me sending the message through this contact form doesn't really lose that much quality. However, if I automate something like a YouTube video like this and I have a robot make this video instead of me, that, that quality is going to end up probably costing a lot of sales. So we also need to think about our ROI. If we're putting a bunch of money into something to automate it and we're losing a ton of quality, so th that means that we probably shouldn't be automating that thing. We should probably automate the thing that doesn't really lose that much quality, but still gives us a return on our investment. So. I talk about how to do things manually in the course. Um, people are always asking me like, Chase, can I do the, some stuff in the course manually? And how much does it cost to scale? And it's really a, um, a question that depends on what you want to invest, right? So if I wanted to invest, let's say a thousand dollars a month into proxies and virtual private servers and, you know, VAs to handle the responses, like you can infinitely scale in automation, but the real question is, what is your goal? And most people don't think about this. Most people don't have goals. That's what's funny is like, I'll talk to people and they'll say, well, I want to make money. Okay. Well, how much money do you want to make? I don't know. Well, then you don't really have a goal, right? Because you're probably making a couple dollars right now, but you obviously want to make more than that. Well, yeah, I want to make more than that. Okay. Well, how much more do you want to make? I don't know. Come up with some specific goals. Most people just say they want something but they don't want it enough to break down how they're going to get it. So instead of spending all this time just saying you want something, figure out what do you need to get it? And a lot of the time people are trying to reinvent the wheel as well, right? So here's another two issue, two big issues that are holding people back. Number one, they're trying to reinvent the wheel. They're trying to make something special. But the reason why is because they have judgment around what sex success means. And so a lot of people are just doing okay. They're like, oh yeah, I want to make money. And you know, I don't really care that much. Like I'm doing okay. I have a couple clients and that's not good. You don't want to be doing just okay, unless that's your goal for success. And most people want to be successful, but they don't understand what it means to be successful to them. And I'll give you an example of this. When I first started out, I would start getting success. And this was even like a year ago too. I would start getting us, um, you know, money coming in. I would do like extra, extraordinarily well for myself. And then I would stop doing that thing because here's the thing. Anytime you start making a bunch of money, you have to question, am I being valuable enough to earn that money? And anytime you don't make enough money, you're probably going to think, well, am I giving away too much for free? And so you don't want to think either of those things because you're basically just bordering on imposter syndrome. And you're thinking, well, you know, I don't really deserve this, right? either whether I'm successful or whether I'm not. And so what I would do is I would think those two things and then I would end up just being mediocre. And the reason why is a lot of people are addicted to being mediocre. Why? Because it's safe. 
Every time I become successful, I change back to mediocre. Every time I become unsuccessful, I change back to mediocre. The only time I'm consistent is when I'm mediocre and I'm just doing okay and things aren't going that well. And so the question is, what do you define success as, right? For me, I like to have goals like, oh, I want to make $100,000 a month or $200,000 a month. I want to help. I want to give back. And I want to, you know, have a life where I'm not constantly working all the time. You know, I want to be able to work and I want to be able to work when I need to, but I don't want to have to be constantly slaving away so that I can make money and always be worried. That's another thing. A lot of people want clients, then they get a bunch of clients, they end up getting to their goal and then they realize they're miserable. I've been talking to this one guy who's making $100,000 a month with clients and guess what? He doesn't want to do it. He wants to do something else that's more streamlined like affiliates or courses or software or something else, right? So your goals might be short lived or your success might be short lived, right? You might be thinking, well, I'll do whatever it takes to get to this goal. But then you realize that you, sh you hit the goal and now you don't really want it. Okay. So don't think that just because, you know, other people are successful at something necessarily means that they're successful with what they really want. And to break that down, like a lot, there's a lot of people that look like they're successful because they're making money, but in, on the inside, you know, they're miserable. And not only that, but the money that they're making, they have so much overhead and so much stress that it like the damage from what they're doing actually like pretty much counterbalances the amount of money they're making. Okay. So again, take things that you see with a grain of salt, because not everything you see is actually that looks like it's working is actually working. Okay. And really it comes down to being consistent. If you can be consistent about automating your traffic, which means coming up with a way to build traffic, whether it's building videos, whether it's using contact forms to send messages, whatever it is, find something that's working and figure out how to automate that for yourself as much as possible. So for example, this video, I'm not fully automating, right? But I'm telling, what I do is I have a script. I have a, I, I make very similar videos all the time. I, I come up with a title that's similar to what I usually make. I come up with a step-by-step -step process. And then I talk about it and that's pretty much it. I do one of those a day. I get up in the morning and I do a video like that. I have a script for my TikToks. Okay. I get up in the morning. I do the script. I make that. I have a script for my outreach for my bots. Okay. I get up in the morning, make sure the bots are running. I do that. I have a script for my automation, uh, for my emails, right? So when somebody joins to my email list, I have a script for that. And really what you're doing is you're just testing all these different scripts and you're making sure that they work at a certain point. You're going to be able to scale because you have something that you can continually improve and it's small actions over time that work that slowly start to build into a monster that is going to make you successful. But thinking that you're going to start out with anything and become extremely successful overnight is not true. And I don't tell people that they're going to become extremely successful overnight. I show you what's possible. It's possible to do this. It's a hundred percent possible. I'm doing it right now. Does it mean you're going to do it overnight? No. Does it mean that you can do it? Yes. A hundred percent. Okay. So again, I really wanted to make this video, not to just go over how the whole system works, but to show you that it's a lot more than just using bots to send out messages to make money. The whole course that I teach, the AI profits course is showing you step-by-step step how to build a business, how to build a lifestyle, how to build something that you actually enjoy. Okay. This is not like a get rich thing, quick scheme. It's not something that just happens, you know, by you, I don't know, just magically having something happen for you. You, you invest your time, you invest some money, you work at it and you make money. That's how it works. Okay. And how much you want to scale it is up to you, but scaling always comes down to you. It comes down to what are you willing to put in to invest again as your resources to make something happen. So that's pretty much it. I was actually going to do a step-by-step -step today, but I wanted to, I guess I just wanted to re, uh, to address some of this stuff. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, in the comments and uh, I'll see you in the next video until I do happy money making. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.